Howdy neighbors. Apparently the camera is working. Well, it's getting warm here in this here neighborhood. Uh, I guess tomorrow, Reading, which is right at 50 miles north of here. If you look at Google and say, I want to go here. Last place I checked, it said it was 55 miles. I think it was 1.1 hour. So anyway, uh, it's supposed to be in the Reading area. 100 tomorrow, and then the seven-day forecast. In other words, showed six days where. It's going to be over 100. For us, way cool. We're used to it. I mean, the humidity level is way down. I'm sitting here with the cooler running. You can see the... Uh, this is a four foot wide sliding glass door with a curtain over it. And I just closed the curtain all, well, all the way because piece <clears throat> and I have the door cracked open just enough that all the cool air is blowing across me and out here on the porch so it's really comfortable for me so as long as the power is on I mean really as, as long as the power is on I'm okie dokie But out there, but out there, it's hot. Except for here in the pond. Let me grab my thermometer. I'll shoot the ground. Let's see if it's warm out there or not. showing 93. Hang on. Kind of warm. <laughs> it's right at a hundred if you're out there. Easily. <clears throat> but right here, it aren't. Turns out I have company headed this way from a couple of different places. Um, let me think here. There is, oops, sorry. There's a group that's headed this way. Of uh, at this point, it could be up to. It could be more. I don't know five women in their uh, vehicles uh, headed this way to help out and then there's another couple that got a hold of me <clears throat> and they want to bring their teardrop up and, uh, and hang out for a couple of days so that's all way cool you know in the meantime I keep plugging away and right now you know I can do a little in the mornings and I water at night <clears throat> mostly 
because I have so much to water, there is certain portions that I do water during the day, like the grapevines, <clears throat> which are over here. I have, uh, I believe I have three different kinds of grapes up there. And the thing is, if you notice, they're coming way down the hill, which is way cool. I'd always plan on running wires from the bottom of the fence over to the edge of the trailer up there on the roof and then let the vines just create an arbor. Needs a little oil. I've been checking on the prices of dumpsters and I, the time that I checked the last time, a couple, like two months ago, <clears throat> on the price, I found a place that would deliver it for 500 Well, for something, but then you have to factor in that they charge extra for things like couches and mattresses. <laughs> oh well. So, I haven't been able to find that one again, but I'll find it. I've called a couple of different places about doing recycling. You know, like, people always mention, um, people would come pick up the scrap metal. I probably have, I mean, realistically speaking... less than a pickup load of scrap metal you could probably get 15 bucks 20 bucks out of the whole thing i know because i've taken radiators and recycled them and i made practically nothing although it was good i needed it at the time but <clears throat> i really have a mismatched uh, jumble of stuff here scrap aluminum window frames uh, that are all torn apart. I have a couple of steel bed frames. Uh, I've got a couple of bumpers. I have some sheet metal that is skirting metal, so that would be aluminum, I, I'm guessing. So, <clears throat> but there's not much. And it's from here to the one place that I am absolutely positive recycles that kind of materials is 55 miles one way. <laughs> so to make, uh, you know, to spend all that time loading it up and then make one run for, you know, 25 bucks at the max, it costs you 15 bucks just to get there. And then you got to get back. Anyway, I'm enjoying life, Ross is enjoying life, and we're, um, I'm sitting here doing my thing, I'm watching YouTube videos, and <clears throat> it turns out that sitting here down, down here on the porch without a, uh, like a Wi-Fi booster or something, if I had one of them, it would help immensely, and eventually I will have because of traveling, but where I'm sitting right now on the porch, I can receive YouTube no problem. And once in a while, I'm okay with texts and things like that. But if I want to respond to some texts or I want to um, <clears throat> respond to comments, there's times when I can't do it sitting here. I have to go up the waterfall, get up top to the next level. When it comes to like Amazon, I can't watch movies because 
they're buffering too much. So, I do a little here, a little there. I moved. Um, I have a bunch of wire, a wire. I have a bunch of hose out there. And it's what I use to water the garden. So I moved it <clears throat> this morning and then I grabbed that lawnmower that's sitting right there and fired it up. And I got 20 feet and it ran out of gas. <laughs> I had to go all the way up to the van to get the gas can and be able to finish what I tried to, you know, do. And it's done. So tomorrow I'll probably spend time laying out the water lines again. Oh, excuse me. Lay, laying out the water lines again. And I will uh, rewater that area. I try to do, like I said, I try to do most of my watering at night. But like right now, I have the line that's up along where Henry's sheep are, which he brought back. The ones that they didn't eat <laughs> uh, are back cleaning up my property. And <clears throat> so I have that water line going, which has one, two, three, four, four trees and one, two, three flowers. Two of which are trumpet vines. The other one, I have no clue what it is. I just know it's supposed to get become a big bush and have, I believe, white flowers on it. <laughs> I just buy them because they look pretty. And it's still alive. And, the, and his sheep so far haven't been able to reach it. Okay, a couple things. I'm supposed to say cool dude is one. Another one is thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you. <laughs> oh my gosh. That helped me out. I'm just sitting here doing what everybody else does. Except uh, I film it. Uh, crud. Thank you, all of you. It, it absolutely flabbergasts me. And I totally appreciate it. Absolutely, totally appreciate it. Seriously. I gotta get my ears straightened. My glasses keep going. Do they do that in Mexico? Today's video <clears throat> brought to you by a goofball who <laughs> had nothing else to do. Later. Wait. I was going to say something. I think it had to do with Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike. Oh, hi Trish. Later. Oh, and cutie. Nibble, nibble, nibble. 